All right, we're back on the quarry. I got about an hour and a half or so. Uh, I just got off work. Uh, let's go. What happened last? We had the fucking... Dylan, I fucking still haven't learned their names. The, no, Nick. Big Dick Nick, yeah. We had Big Dick Nick fucking rip all of his fucking skin off and, uh... And fucking... Uh, turn into one of the things. <clears throat> she barely escaped with the zipline, right? So we're seeing her again. What the fuck is her name? <laughs> Thank God, a beer. Oh, fire. <laughs> okay. So, if I were a counselor at an off-season camp, partying around a bonfire, and it started to rain, and there were monsters, I would go... to the lodge. I guess she's not a total idiot. Look around here real quick. Ooh, fireworks. Only one left. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have a look around here. I don't know. I think it's pretty much a neutral area, so I should just be good to just pick shit up. Hmm. Ryan stories again. I had no idea kids were getting freaked out about this stuff. We officially suck as counselors. <laughs> I got <to> it. <laughs> kids let her home. Oh, about the hag. <laughs> Where is she looking? Okay, that's everything. Oh, I've decided. Where are you holding this fucking phone? I guess it's for what she would be doing. <clears throat> oh, she's getting hunted. The big dick Nick. Oh, and we're just gonna walk this way. We are faster than it. Right? Right. Oh. Shiny. Thought I saw something. Can I go that way? Not fuck it. Punk bitch. <laughs> go up these steps and Isn't that the falling rocks, right? That was the falling rocks area from earlier, right? I think. Do we got a choice over here? To go that way? Maybe? Oh. oh. Okay. There's a trap right there. Oh, I need to look out for traps, huh? That got us through there. I guess. Oh, 
there's the lot. Just keep swimming. What do we do? Go! Yay! Wasn't expecting that. I thought that was just a change of camera angle for a sec, not a cutscene start. <laughs> oh, they caught one. Oh, there's another one. Come on! I've never done this before, Pop. Let's do it fast, that's it. Not gonna run. Donnie, Cletus ain't all bad. God damn. God damn these <laughs> fucking kids. Son of what? Ah. Oh. Ah. Hey, stop. Stop squirming. Give me the track. Is she bit, huh? How am I supposed to know? I don't know. Let me look at her. Nah. Get the fuck away from me! Oh. Oh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I wasn't trying to, you know, fuck his eardrums up. Caitlin! <laughs> Why did I do that? Caitlin! I guess she, she didn't feel Abby! safe. Doesn't feel safe. Oh. Abby! Ryan? What's her name again? It's Emma, right? Oh, she's gonna get changed. She's in the car. Uh, bookmark that. She might have just fell asleep. <laughs> I killed him. <laughs> I killed him. I killed him. Nah. We just wounded him. We what haven't killed him yet. Jump out of windows and run into the forest. Ah. Abby, he was gonna hurt you. You were defending yourself. I I don't know that for sure. What do you mean? I do. No. <laughs> I do. It was you or him. And, well, that definitely wasn't him. Man, this is so fucked. <laughs> he just cut off. Hey. Yeah, that had cut off his own fucking head. Oh, shit. Is it Cletus? Who's there? I need your help. Please. Who are you? My name is Laura Kearney. So? Don't let me in. It's not safe out here. Uh, yeah, there's a crazy woman with a gun killing people. I'm not killing people. <laughs> Holy shit, you... Laura Kearney? You're Laura Kearney? Yes? You were supposed to be working, uh... Helping out in the nurse's office, right? And you never showed up? <clears throat> 
you and the guy, what's his name? Max? Yes, Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Hackett said that you had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should, I think that we should listen to her inside. Okay. I'm gonna open the door see, slowly. Just I don't I don't know why anyone would just okay. be like, nah, fuck that okay. bitch. <laughs> now look at her. She's fucked up. Oh. They're showing us more and more of this place slowly. Here we are Arum, again. Arum. Just you me. Yeah. Why don't we take another look at what you've found? Oh. Okay. The moon. How poignant. Tonight of all nights. To harness your fear and anxiety and turn them into intuition. If you can do this and plan ahead. Your cunning might just save your life. Mm -hmm. Now tell me, Let's would you like to delve deeper into one of many possible futures? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. What do we got? All right. Eye patch. Oh, she stabbed him. Off you go then. Top top. One down, remember. Isn't that terribly? That wasn't the future though. Or Or do we not trust that bitch? Alright. New lease. We're wary so, of this uh, chick. Why didn't you come? Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. That was our mistake. Okay. Am I gonna get some backstory here? I was very, um, fucking vague. Laura. Oh! Minor horror story. Up, my guy. Uh, no. Not letting him know I'm awake. She gets there, so it seems pretty set. But we don't know anything more about him. Or why he... He seems to know a little bit about it. Ma'am. This is gonna get a little messy. Okay. Oh, he turned. And they really just throw their flesh off. I guess he was just holding her to see if she changes? <laughs> Wake the fuck up. What have you done to Max? Shut up. <laughs> okay. You can't just shut up. This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. Okay. Name. Laura 
Laura Kearney. He already knows. So. Who are you traveling with? And what is your relationship? Max Brindley, he's my boyfriend. He already knows. Where were you headed last night? To Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You already know this. What have you done with Max? No. I ask, you answer. That's how this works. Okay. Fine. What do you want to know? Oh. Well. Uh, why are we going to Hackett's Quarry last night? Yeah, he broke Next a little bit. Camp counselors. Oh, bullshit. Counselors aren't due until today. I told you, we drove up and got there early. We figured we'd just go to camp. Why didn't you go to the motel like I told you? Because we were, like, way closer to the camp, and we're broke. Mm-hmm. Okay, Sheriff. Hackett. Wait, Hackett? Like, Chris Hackett? Don't change the subject. What the fuck is going on here, man? You have no idea what's going on here. Not a goddamn clue. You just stepped in some grade A double prime, go ahead and kill yourself cosmic type shit, young lady. Okay. And your only option is to buckle the fuck up and do what I say. Do you understand? Um, please. Oh, I didn't. Just stop trying to intimidate me and tell me what the fuck is going on. Oh, yes. Oh, that's, that kind of works is out. I didn't want to say please, though. Is Max alive? <laughs> I feel like I'm going crazy. Didn't say please at the beginning. No. What? Screaming at him is not going to help. Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. I, I don't know. Laura. Yeah. Why am I naked? What? I mean, after we got attacked, the next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell, and you're gone. And now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and stuff everywhere. I mean, what the fuck happened? I was kind of hoping you could tell me what happened. I feel like I remember bits and pieces, but none of it makes any sense. Yeah, same. I feel like... Were we drugged? I feel like maybe we were drugged. By a cop? Do they do that? <laughs> Who does this guy think he is? Well, Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max. What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill. That's the town. Oh. And it gets better. <laughs> oh, yeah, he was lost. His name badge and...
Get dressed. What's he giving you? I'm not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? I wasn't aware we needed your permission, Detective Dick Whippet. <laughs> yeah, it's a free country, Officer Oat. For brains. Shit. <laughs> All right, buddy. Hands through the bars. Come on. Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey, hey. Let's get the fuck off. Come on. Move. Good boy. Hmm. Hey. Well, they do turn struggling. back. Max, calm down. You're only making it worse. Laura. What the hell did you do? Really the important thing in any like kind of like a hostage situation is you you wait for like your moment. Because if they if they think they don't have to worry about you, then they become complacent and and forgetful. And then it allows you to actually get a moment to do something. I guess kidnapping. While the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. What's this? Oh. I need some sort of lever. Rip this fucking bed apart. Oh yeah. Oh. Well, that's extra convenient. <laughs> that could work. Oh, yeah, this ought to do it. Watch it, man. I bruise easily. Give me a break. And now, if you take hostages and you have multiple, the important thing is that you keep them separate. And that way, they can't talk to each other. That way, if they're in a situation where they could turn on each other, then they could potentially think that and think ill on the other person. Oh, fuck. What did he say? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? A canary? Nothing to sing about. I'm sure you've got plenty to confess. <laughs> well, that may be true, but 
I don't think he's too interested in how I cheated off Mikey Washington in 8th grade cab. Really, though? What happened? He, uh... He just asked a lot of questions. A lot of weirdly specific questions about us and where we were going and why and how I was feeling this morning and... I don't know. Nothing I said made him seem any less annoyed. He asked how you were feeling? Yeah. Why, he didn't ask you? No. Huh. Rude. Did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whippet? It's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like THE Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's THE Chris Hackett? <laughs> this guy. As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean, though? You know? Where we set up? Maybe it's some kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's Just figured it out. I mean, what? Some kind of setup, a, a, a trap. I don't know. Chris Hackett and Sheriff Hackett, there's no way that's a coincidence. Okay. They must be related. Well, what does that prove? They knew we were coming. Maybe it's some kind of kidnapping, extortion, conspiracy. That's a pretty big job. I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, we have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? Stop. Come on, lighten up. Yeah, easy for you to say. What? Can't you ever accept what's happening? Sometimes shit is just shit. And not everything's some challenge for you to overcome. Uh, We're kidnapped. Actually, yeah, it is. Mm, yeah. We're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna study to be a vet, and you're... gonna... um... What? I'm gonna what? I saw the letter, Max. What are you talking about? The rejection letter for college. I found it in your bag. You were poking around in my stuff? I can't believe you didn't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Completely dodged the question. I, I was embarrassed. Wait, your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. Fuck! Have you been making plans, Max? What the fuck? I don't know. What do you want me to say? <sighs> I'm sorry, Max. This, this really sucks. What? What did you it's update? It's not the worst thing to happen this summer. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't have kept it from you. You know you can talk to me about anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay, let's just focus on getting out of here for now. Great, sign me up. We need to go over it from the beginning. 
Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Actually... Yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. The dude acted super weird when we said we almost hit an animal, you remember that? It was like he already knew or something. Yeah. Yeah, I was really sketchy. What if he's not even a real cop? Well, he's gotta be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's like... nobody else around. Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack it hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead... There's nobody there, and we get attacked by something, and then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a, a dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was was big. Like, person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. What is messed up about that is... Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. What? Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember... before we got lost? You got lost? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but before that, I was all like... Whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods, and you're all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month? Yeah, so? Right, so, you know, oh. full moon. Yeah. What if, uh... Okay, no, stop. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's a slight chance it was a werewolf. Are you out of your goddamn mind? <laughs> Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? <laughs> what? 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 What's so funny? I said literally the exact same thing. I said literally the exact same thing. Oh. Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like zombies, aliens, time hopping Draculas. <laughs> I love that he's just cheesing in the background. Uh, I don't... Ryan, right? Yeah? You want answers? I've got answers. Interrupt me again, you're on your own. <laughs> Take that. Whatever. <laughs> Would it really Whatever. be so crazy? With all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick? With the thing on the roof? Okay, it would really <laughs> start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan. I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are those are just campfire stories. Like there has to be a rational explanation for everything, for all of this. There probably is one. Okay, you were not talking so rational when you separated my hand from the rest of my body. You told me to. <laughs> and if it's bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. What? You did the right thing. See? She's got a whole poem about it. <laughs> she got a whole poem about it. There's more to all this than you think. Just let me finish. I want to see under the eye patch. You believe me or not, I don't care. But I think you should hear all of it. I'm not convinced. I didn't see under the eye patch. He looks very convinced. The next few weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot. As much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement. What happened to Max? We just kept going over it all again and again, and nothing was making sense. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there. Mm. 
Okay, I get to break out. I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. They're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. <laughs> We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, a plan. We well, keep saying that, but it's been weeks, so, you know, let me know if you have one. That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Keep it down. So what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when... I turn into a nasty ass monster and kill you and eat you and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, stop. Just one problem at a time. Alright, we, we don't even know if that's what's really going on and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or... We try to catch him off guard and make our escape. Reckless? We gotta escape? I don't know. I wanna escape, but I think okay, this is the better. So let's say we get on his good side. What then? Brunch and mimosas every Sunday till he sees the error of his ways? Yeah, I was being rhetorical. The dude doesn't have a good side to get on. I mean he don't even talk to us half the time. I don't know, I think we could crack him. Laura, I think he's just biding his time until he can figure out a way to get rid of us. Permanently. I think we should try. I mean, if he was gonna kill us, we'd be dead by now. So what's he waiting for? Look, we just... If this doesn't work, we try to escape. Deal? That yeah. makes sense. Deal. At least me, I'm pretty convinced so, that he's a werewolf. Alright, how are we supposed to get this guy to like us if he won't even talk to us? I don't know. I mean, he's got to have a weak spot, like something we can use. It's not like we don't have time to figure it out. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Hey, hey! T-Money! Can I call you T-Money? Why? <laughs> you... You call me Officer Hackett. Hackett? Like as in Hackett's quarry? What's it to you? Just interested is all. Feel like we hardly know you. Well, let's keep it that way, okay? Oh, come on, Team Money. Lighten up, man. No reason we can't be buds, right? I can think of seven. Really? Seven? Failure to comply. Trespassing. Dangerous driving. Breaking and entering. Resisting arrest. <laughs> endangering local wildlife. And you keep calling me names. Yeah, but aside from all that... It... Okay. Look. There's no reason why we can't change things. Why does it all have to be so ugly all the time? Oh. I see what you're doing. Well, it's not gonna work. You think we're just gonna be besties, and I'm gonna let you walk right out of here. Not gonna happen. Asshole! Max! We know what's going on! We know Max is a werewolf! Full moon's in a few days, right? What, what then? No, ma'am. You don't know the half of it. Mm, she got a reaction, though. Well, that's something. I said, 
Take your fucking clothes off. Fuck, fuck off! Get back! Max, what's going on? <laughs> Get the fuck away from him! <laughs> I, only, <laughs> I only got one, one, more, one more set of clothes. Come here. Get off of me! Shut up. Have a seat. Quit squirming. Said you want to be a vet, right? Call us an internship. Let me go! You're not gonna believe it until you see it for yourself. Just fucking ask next time then, dude. Jeez. <laughs> Don't get too close. T, come in. What's your position? Over. Shit. Mm-hmm. Just wrapping things up here. If they obviously know him. Down to 20. Over. He hasn't killed me. What's gonna happen? Well, I'll tell you. It's not gonna be pretty. But don't worry. I'll be back at dawn. You're really gonna leave me here? You'll be fine. Just don't get too close. Max, tell me exactly what you're feeling. Laura, I... I don't feel so good. Not good? Like how? I don't know, just... bad. Come closer, let me see your eyes. I think I better stay back. Max, I need to observe you. Is this fucking close enough for you, bitch? <laughs> Aggression. <laughs> he, he, yeah, I love how he did it. His body language was completely. He just walked, stumbled over. Is this fucking close enough for you, bitch? Max. <laughs> Max. Tell me what's going on. <laughs> Oh, do we get to see the eye now? Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! I just lost my fucking eye. <laughs> oh, that's how it is, though. Like, how resilient the human body is. Oh, now she's a badass. That easy. She kind of likes it. So much for depth perception. Shotgun. Let's see what that bastard cop's hiding. Oh, 
Ah, noch ein Weg. Anything else in here, right? No? Okay. Locked. Figures. But I guess I can't leave Max. Better keep snooping, or I could go back to my cell and wait, I guess. <laughs> if I can go back to the cell and wait, there's stairs here. I get that way when I double back. Police station. Mm. Whoever was wearing this can't be doing too well. They let me walk all the way down here and there's not an open door. Uh. This must be what he used to knock me out. Oh, this is where I get the option. I can hide this in my cell. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna do it. I already know she becomes the fucking whatever hard ass, so I make my fuck this dude up. Although, I can't 100% tell because it's like, where, where did the first ones come from? Are they hunting them or I can go in here now? Fifty-six, huh? Mama's boy. Fifty-six. That means he was born in... 1965. I need to lie down. Stop complaining. We are snooping. But he doesn't seem to be killing Max, so I don't know if he's... I don't know what his role is. And if he is with the other Hackett, because he, he was talking to the... Uh, Chris was talking to the fucking the hunters, of course. Cletus and his, uh, his pa. Windows Vista? Fuck, I'm on the wrong side. Oh. Hello? That's weird. <laughs> No dial tone or anything. Not 
so much a hint as a slap in the face. Oh, 1965, but no day or month. Radcliffe and Edward Benson. Wonder who they are. <laughs> Were. <laughs> this man's birthday. What would have his birthday? Where he came from? Just, ah, ha. Ah. What are you hiding, Travis? Sorry, I'm on a fan. I have exhausted this and myself. I need to sleep. Shut up. You can find this shit. If I was a date of birth, where would I be? he hiding? Just in case, you know? I'm going to bed. I went ahead and looked around. Found what I found. Fuck it. Oh, that's weird. You want to tell me what happened? I could ask you the same thing. Why didn't you run? We've got unfinished business. Like what? Like how you're gonna tell me exactly just what the fuck is really going on here. Why would I do that? Because I could be halfway home by now. But I'm not. Because I have to help Max. Maybe I can help you too. Turn around, hands against the wall. Seriously? I am too tired to argue. But... Ugh. Me too. Happy? some coffee.
What's this? An education. Watch. Like an iPad or nice job cleaning up the eye. I mean, it's harder than they make out in the textbooks, especially when nobody's helping you. You're the doctor. Uh, animal doctor and no I'm not and I probably never will be stuck in here forever you know just cuz you know doesn't mean you know you know uh, what and you don't know the full story you know I'm not this isn't what it seems to be. You're gonna have to be more specific. You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. My family? We didn't mean to hurt anybody. We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Not really. <laughs> We're going to end this thing once and for all. We? Yeah. Okay. Fine, let's end it. Let Max and I go and we'll find someone who can help. That's stupid. Not what I had in mind. You're seriously asking for my help? I don't want you to help me. You're gonna do this for Max, and I'm gonna get what I need. <laughs> help Max. Let's see how smart you really are. What we got? What we got? What is this? Information. Well, what does it mean? Read it. When full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. One by one leads lambs to slaughter. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. Okay, they don't like water. And should you yourself be cursed, armed with silver, and the first. When moon is full before its wane, rend the beast that cursed you slain. No longer shall you face your blight, or fear the dread of full moon's light. Yeah. Keep reading. Winning his trust right now. It kind of seems he just asks us for help, so let's take his gun and shoot him in the back of the fucking head. Faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. Perchance you'll save your cursed soul before infection takes its toll. Starting to get the picture. It's not a lot to go on. And. Frankly, it's shit. Why did they have to make it rhyme? I don't know. But it's all we have to go on. Kill the werewolf that bit you and you'll be cured. It has to be silver. It has to be full moon. Seems pretty straightforward to me. If you can kill the werewolf, and that's a big if. I just want to cure Max. It's not as straightforward as you think.
Is it Chris? Did it's Chris. You know it's his this? brother. Why didn't you just kill it in a storm shelter when you had the chance? It's not so. I'm, I, I was when I straightforward. No, yeah, it's so not. You... They're not so easy to hit. I was trying to protect you two. You're not telling us everything. I'm telling you everything you need to know. I don't believe you. Well, what if killing ain't an option? What if you had to use science? Use science. Just like that. Oh, genius. Wait, I'll set an 80s montage going. I'm serious. Why is killing not an option? I think you're protecting someone. What was it? His nephews? Look. Take some time to think about all this. I'll be back in the morning. Can I keep the bottle? Seen enough? I don't think I'd believe a word he just said if I hadn't if I hadn't seen that. I don't want to believe him, but I don't have a better explanation. I'm just not sure. It's, it just doesn't add up. Hey, who knew we get to star in our very own terrible horror movie? Well, speak for yourself. I think I am pretty well cast. Well, fuck him. <laughs> He's had his chance to fix this. We're getting out of here and we're gonna fix it on our own. Laura? Yeah? I saw what happened. What I did to your eye. Yeah. Is it bad? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm so sorry. It wasn't you. I know it wasn't you. I know. But it was. We're gonna fix you, Max. Promise. I promise. You said let me in there. Rick! I know they're in there! Who? The counselors. Didn't show up. How'd you find out? Bobby told me. Said you scrapped an abandoned car. A while back, I, I worked out the rest. Shit. Why? Well, why'd you think, Chris? Jesus, Travis. You're still here? That's fucked up. I fucking bit one of them, Chris. What am I supposed to do? What was that? It was Chris. Actually, I almost wasn't ready for that one. You shot me. I'm telling Mom. Thank you, Lucky Stars. It wasn't silver. What's your plan? You can't keep him here forever. I am handling it. Maybe if you'd done your job, they wouldn't have been at the camp that night. You ever think of that? If I'd have done my job, you'd all be in prison. You ever think of that? That was all Bob and <laughs> Caleb. Were those know hikers? It. That that. Fucking journalist. Damn it, Travis. What are we gonna do now? Whatever happened to we're all in this together? Shit, man. Let's go to my office. We shouldn't talk here. Okay. Max, 
Uh. Max! Uh. What is it? Travis was just in the hall talking, the cop. So? With Chris Hackett. Was he here to let us out? Okay, so Chris is a werewolf. No. Some of the family's She's werewolves. Max. I'm guessing Chris Bobby and Hackett Caleb are the, the... One that bit you down on the storm shelter. Holy shit, that's Who would have guessed? I mean, I guess thinking about it, I could have And yet you didn't. It all makes sense. That's why Chris's car was at the lodge that night. Travis was protecting him. That's why he followed us, and that's why he didn't kill the werewolf in the storm shelter, because it was his fucking brother. God, it's so obvious. If, if Chris was the one that bit me, then... Yeah, then that's our cure. That's how we fix you. Jesus, Laura, are we thinking the same thing? Tomorrow, we're getting out of here. I'm gonna get Travis's gun and kill Chris Hackett. Hey! Hey! Help her! Laura need needs help! Laura needs help! Laura? Seem like you fucking mean it. Laura, are you okay? God damn it. What the hell's going on? Laura? We don't know that was the shit that he fucking, like, knocked us out with. What if we just, like, put, like, crocodile just straight into his fucking body? <laughs> or just something crazy. We didn't get the gun? Okay. I was about to say, wasn't that, like, half the plan? I didn't think you were really sick. Well, maybe I should consider acting as my major. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> we should go before he wakes yeah. up. <sighs> Gotta give him a pillow or something. And I have a hell of a crick in the neck. We should grab our stuff. We need silver ammo. He must have some around here. What is it? I thought I heard someone. Should have checked his ID for his birthday. It's coming from behind that door. There's nobody in here. What the fuck? But there's over fucking bullets. He makes them. What is it? Shotgun shells. He loads them with silver. That's where he was last month hunting. Well, I guess he won't be needing this anymore. Hey. I just realized something. We're free. <laughs> I get shot or something.
Hell yeah, we are. I'm pointing foot them down right now. Get back, but for now, we're one step closer to going home. And when is that? Tonight. Going to Hackett's quarry. And we're killing Chris Hackett. And I made my way here, to camp. Left, left Max at the island. Seemed like the best place for him, surrounded by water and all. That's it. Oh, that's, that's Max the on the island. And I'll jump in at the same time. Oh, and we just let him out. Wait, the island? Like, like our island? Like the one in the lake? Yeah, why? Because Jacob... He went back there looking for Emma, and he hasn't come back yet. Neither of them has. <clears throat> oh, shit. Well, if they were there, they're not there now. What's that supposed to mean? Don't make me spell it out for you. I've just come back from there, and there's one werewolf and no people. Oh, fuck. All I know is I have to do this. I have to kill Chris Hackett before it's too late. After you saw me at the pool, after I shot Chris, um, I went back to the island expecting Max to be back to normal. But... That wasn't Chris Hackett though, that was fucking, that was his daughter. Right? Hello? Hey, Max. Jump, be fucking metal. So the werewolf I killed can't have been Chris. That wasn't a werewolf, it was Kay Kaylee Hackett, Chris's daughter. Whatever I shot, that was no girl. Unless, I, I guess, it turned back after I shot it when I went to the island. Wait, so 
how come Max didn't kill you then? He tried. I got away. I need to end this. We don't have much time. I'm probably gonna put one through before this game's over. Oh. This isn't creepy at all. Oh, this must be mom. Smell good, don't I? That's weird. Go on, take a bow. Come on. <laughs> Dumb fucking animal. <laughs> <laughs> Cletus and Pa. Cletus seems like a good guy. Oh, maybe they want to kill him? That's too, Bobby. Bobby and Caleb. Sitting there staring at him. Oh, let me glean. Okay. Always nice to see you. Isn't it fun delving into the past? They're a bad lot, aren't they? Shall we have a look at what you found? Nothing to show, nothing to see. What more do you want me to say? Find the cards or stumble around in the dark. Choice is yours. You'll be seeing me a few more times before the night's over. I look forward to that, as long as you follow the right path, of course. Mm. <coughs> mm. Who turned Nick? <coughs> oh, Jesus. Mm. Who turned Big Dick Nick? Where is Chris Hackett? Shut up. Wow, rude. Guys, she murdered Kaylee. We have been over this. Uh, Caitlin, 
What do I do? Oh, wow. Real strong showing on the leadership front. I said shut up. <sighs> oh, no way. I am not getting involved. This is all you, buddy. Look, just think about everything that's happened tonight, okay? That's all I'll say. The body in the lake, too. Made Ryan Everyone into a real up. bitch. Yeah, right. Listen to me. These people are not who you think they are, I promise. Hold up. You, you said you heard a woman crying when you escaped? Why? What do you know? Yeah, what, what's, what's going on with Silas? About, right, Caitlin? This isn't a ghost story. It's a creature feature. It's really happening and you're all in it. Your bracelet. What are you doing? I'm trying to help. Worst case scenario, this should give you a fighting chance. And this will kill them? For good? Yeah. But what if it's Nick or someone? Like I said, worst case scenario. Brian, put that fucking thing down before you hurt someone. <laughs> so... Come on. Where does Chris Hackett live? When he's not at camp, I mean. What makes you think I know that? Uh, you guys are counselors, right? You've spent the last two months here? He's not in the storm shelter. I'm clearly getting nowhere hunting him in the woods. I need a place to start. I think that spooky house behind these woods. Dude! What? Have you thought about, you know, not killing him? I'm thinking about not killing you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Look, when the sun comes up, I am stuck until the next full moon. So is Max, so is anyone else he's bitten. How is that our problem? Why don't you ask your friends in the woods? Don't forget about Nick, dude. Okay, any clothes are going to have to spray you two with cold water. Ryan, let's just get out of here. I'm running out of time. If I can't find Chris Hackett, then a lot more people are going to get hurt. Ryan's kind of a punk. I'm going with you. What? what? Uh... Yeah, what they said. There's no way I'm letting a murdering fugitive like you go anywhere near Chris on your own. Wow, are you flirting with me? <laughs> no. Fine, do whatever you want. You saw what happened to Nick. He was bitten. Cut off your buddy's hand. That cop car you stole, where is it? Ditched in the lake. Why? It was a stolen cop car. <laughs> You're gonna have to try and fix the minivan. Get somewhere safe. How long do you have? An hour or two? I don't know. It doesn't seem like an exact science. <laughs> then we better get going. Are you sure this is the right way? Pretty sure, yeah. Pretty or definitely? What do I look like, a tour guide? This doesn't feel right. I think you're up to something. I'm not. You better not just be running out the clock. I'm not. Oh fuck, at this point I gotta want Ryan to die out of these two. Here, the longer we're in danger. Said the murderer. You know, it might be a lot more pleasant if you lighten up a little. 
What is wrong with you? I've had kind of a fucked up summer. Yeah, well, doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Oh, what's that supposed to mean? I don't know. I, you're still alive, I guess. Nobody else needs to get hurt. An eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. No offense. I mean, you still got two I'm eyes. Not doing this for revenge. We got two eyes out of I that. Need to save Max. You're doing all of this for a boy. What am I supposed to do? Just leave him like this? I owe it to him. Like I said, kind of a fucked up summer. This, this is technically her fault. He was hiding in the cellar. Hmm. Who do we kill? There it is. Back your house. So he lives in some redneck mansion with his redneck family in the ass crack of the woods? Look at this place. No, but it's where his mom lives, I think. Never been there. But if we're looking for answers, it's probably the best place to start. So, uh, wait, how do we get there? What do you mean? How do we get to the house? That's a really good question. Maybe we just don't. I understand Chris is your friend. If there was another way, I'd tell you. Sure. Yeah. Laura, Chris is a good man. This isn't about good and evil, Ryan. Just how can you be so certain? If I let my conscience slow me down now, everything gets a lot worse for everyone. Believe me, if there's another way, I'm all for it. Hey, where are you going? You're on a timer, remember? There must be another way across somewhere. I got you. Careful, it's gonna go. Oh. Okay, water. <laughs> the game looks so good until they do anything liquid. Holy shit! <clears throat> Are you okay? Hmm. Laura? Oh, she doesn't like water. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. Oh my god, Laura. Jesus, Mary and Jazz hands. Here's a thought. What are you doing? Relax, look. What big eyes you have, Grandma. <laughs> no shit. Can you see yellow in my eyes? Define yellow? Shit. We haven't got much time. So I've got a ticking werewolf on my hands. Is me taking time, fuck me. There's like a box over here. We're speed walking. Move those hips. Uh, lunch box. This must be part of the old working quarry. Makes sense. That bastard. Septimus Hackett. These must have been from the quarry days. No duh. No one's been down here for years. Or hours. Lights are on. You know? I don't just assume people don't go where lights are on. But I guess these could be just super old. 
but I mean, maybe the bulb would go out, you know? Someone's keeping them up. <laughs> Did you hear that too? It's her. Who? The hag. The hag gets Corey. It's like she's warning us off. Or guiding us. No, they can't have done. This place is not up to code. <laughs> I mean, if the code is literally crumbling to the ground, then I think it's doing fine. Let's just keep moving. Yeah. Mm. Oh, they're Jeez. joking. Jeez. They're joking all around. She with Max. Oh boy, this is high. Whoa. Do you think actually something is in here with us? Either that or this route isn't as disused as we thought. Look who's finding their funny bone. Our eyes are back blue again. Ish. But I think that might just be the end game. So model. what's your deal then? What do you mean? The whole mysterious brooding loner thing, it doesn't quite fit with the I love my camp leader vibe. So I don't fit into the right box, is that what you're saying? And what box would that be? Nothing. Forget it. Do you always do that? Do what? Uh, start to engage in a conversation and then just immediately recoil into your shell. Maybe I don't want to talk to you anymore. Oh, wow. Charming. I am assuming you're single? Yeah. Why? No reason. <laughs> this way. I see a light. Yeah. Or you can just hang out here. Up to you. Someone's been eating their spinach. So, you want to go into the collapsing nightmare tunnel first, or shall I? Got the gap piece. Promising. Uh, this looks familiar. 
Just the barrels. I mean, Jacob shouldn't be too far, right? Careful. Splinters. Thanks. I'm fine. Guess we found the party. Alcohol. No prohibition. These are rum running tunnels. That would make that liquor almost a hundred years old. Probably still good. Good. Try vintage. Well, I guess the hackets were bootleggers. Makes sense. I guess when the quarry shut down, they branched out. Come on. Time travel later. I think this is it? Uh, beach me. I'm pretty much completely lost. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, me too. Shall we? We shall. Yes. Just proceed. Trust Cletus. I'm not so trusting a pawn. All of them. Uh, what the hell happened here? Uh, that's kind of my bad. Had a bit of a tumble with one of the locals. The fuck, Caitlin? This place is wrecked. <laughs> Well, you should see the other guy. What do you think happened to Jacob and Emma? Probably nothing. Hopefully. I mean, oh, I mean, Emma should, should be here. Them? Warn them? I think the same Emma's thing, here. The most responsible thing is to try and get help. Right. And then we can come back for them. And Nick. And Nick. something in there? I don't know. What is it? I... Jacob? Emma? Are they... Should I open it up? Your funeral, buddy. Need a hand? So she was in the police station this whole time? Insane, right? This whole time, we were having such a fun summer. We never knew. Jeez. Okay. Can you fix it? No. Oh. Not without some parts. Specifically, a rotor arm. There's a scrapyard up the road. So you 
can fix it. Well, no promises, but there's hope. That's where we're gonna find it. Has she pieced together that... Sounds like a long shot. That, uh... Dylan, come on. I need you. We need you. Fine. Okay. Once again, Dylan puts himself in mortal danger for the sake of his work friends. What exactly are we supposed to do? I mean, the van is nice, but it's not exactly Fort Knox. Well, there's a shelter under the lodge. You could be safe there for a while. All right. Abby, you're with me. Good luck. We gotta get Dylan out of this alive. Look at him. Walk away those strong shoulders. And I'm gonna end it right there. We'll start again in the basement. Uh, yeah. I've been going for about two hours, so. See you in the next one. Uh, I'm leaving myself on a cliffhanger too, because I'm stopping playing, so. Deuce!